This is our table of data and this is our graph. The x-axis are concentration in micromolar units and the y-axis is absorbance, which is in arbitrary units, so you don't need to write any units down. Now we need to plot the points. So when x is 2, y is 0 0.170. When x is 4, y is 0 0.335. When x is 6, y is 0 0.507. When x is 8, y is 0 0.673. And when x is 10, y is 0.838. Next, we need to draw a line of best fits. Remember that with experimental data, the line will rarely go through all of your points. As in our video, Gradients of Straight Line Graphs, we're going to use the change in y divided by the change in x to work out m. This is also written as dy by dx. So m equals dy by dx, where m is once again the gradient. We're also going to use the same equations in that video, which is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, where the x and y values are corresponding values from the line of best fit. Always use points on the line of best fit when working out a gradient. <coughs> I'm going to use points where x is 9, which will be x2 and y2 and where x is 3, which will be x1 and y1. So now we need to put those numbers into our equation. It's hard to see from the scale of this graph, but when x is 9, y is 0.753. And when x is 3, y is 0 0.253. 0 0.753 minus 0 0.253 equals 0 0.5. And 9 minus 3 equals 6. The top line of the fraction is the absorbance, which is in arbitrary units, so we don't need to write anything. But the bottom line of the fraction is the concentration, which is in micromolar units. We need the concentration in molar units, not micromolar units. So to convert from micromolar to molar, we just need to times by 10 to the minus 6. So this can be written as Not 0.5 divided by 6 times 10 to the minus 6 molar units. When we work this out, we get that m equals 83,333 molar units to the minus 1. As we said before, m equals epsilon times 1 centimetre. This means that epsilon times 1 centimetre equals 83,333 with units of molar to minus 1. To get epsilon on its own, we just have to divide both sides by 1 centimetre, which gives us epsilon equals 83,000. 333 with units of per molar per centimetre.